President Muhammad Buhari seems to be holding personal grudges against the IPOB leader, Mazin Nandekano. If not, why is he still holding him? He should release him and let him go. As President, Obasanjor said, as he was asked by some journalists what will be the effect on Nigeria if President Muhammad Buhari refuses to release Mazin Nandekano all conditionally as directed by the Working Group on Obituary Detention under the United Nations Commission on Human Rights, who disclosed Mazin Nandekano's arrest unlawful and unconstitutional and directs Nigerian government to release the IPOB leader. <laughs> well, everybody knows this. I believe, I believe, so many Nigerians understand this part and thinks that the government is holding personal grudges against the IPOB leader. If not, why holding him, according to the ex-president, Olusegun Obasanjo? This is not the first time Olusegun Obasanjo have even said something about, you know, releasing Mazen Namdekano, asking, you know, uh, President Muhammad Buhari to do so because it's the right thing to do to avoid many issues, to avoid problems in the country. You understand? But the things that they are actually taking it personal. If you even see what is going on, the UN have asked the Nigerian government to release the IPOB leader because according to the uh, International Working Group, they declared the arrest of Nandi Kano, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, as unlawful and an infringement on his international human rights. You understand? This working group on arbitrary detention, they are under the United Nations Commission on Human Rights. So the Nigerian government won't come tell us, say they no pass them, at the AGF Malami went on turn the constitution of this country upside down. They no pass these people. Since the day they make this, they make this statement, all of them in the north, the northern group we talk, uh, Mieti Ala we talk, this one we talk, this one we talk. Mazenam, the cannon will not be released. There will be this, this, this. There will be this, there will be that, and all that. I go come, they ask, wait to come, have, wait to come, consign virtue with Babin Saloon. When virtue no say not get hair for head. Why is it that? Nam, the cannon issue. They, these people, this important. Then the bandits and Boko Haram went don't chase them, come out for their house. Chase them, come out for their farmland. The only lively, uh, 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 livelihood, uh, this thing, uh, they get. They don't chase them, come out. Hunger don't take over their region. Even the Northern Elder spokesman confirmed that. Hunger don't take over their region. But they will not see all these things talk. They no go protest their president Muhammad Buhari say we don't like what is going on in our region. But once you just mention Mazen Nam the Kano matter, all of them they come out one talk. How can you carry elephant on your head? You they pick cricket with your leg. Who does that? I believe Senna, because of all these people waiting then they talk, the threats and all that. Now they hadn't the president heart. And if I may ask, who are these people to detect for President Muhammad Buhari? Miete Allah, Northern Group, Koesh, or whatever, go call the detect for the government what to do when they know what to do. You see this matter of Mazinam the Kane. <laughs> Mazinam the Kano, I beg your pardon. Me, the matter self, you know, they disturb me. Because I know, say, when time comes, eh? When time comes, <laughs> nobody go tell them. You see, all these people, they, not, they don't talk for fun. And Nigerian government will not try to come and tell us that they know the law more than these people. They know the law, neither they pass back here, they go, they, 
repatriate person back to Nigeria, when we have issue here, they cannot, they cannot even solve it. One quarter of the insecurity problem we have in Nigeria, they can't face it. And we know these people. They know them. They know their hideouts. They know their families. They know their name. They have their phone number. Why I said that is because these people will continue to adopt people and they will call. They will negotiate. They will pay money. So they go talk so they don't know them. But they can't do anything. When they don't key, 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 tomorrow they go come say they don't repent. The government will reintegrate them back to the society. Give them good life. Not even talking about those who, who they have rendered their life useless. The fatherless, the motherless, the widows, the widowers, the orphans, the homeless. Those where they don't even destroy their business places. What is the Nigerian government doing about them? Nothing. But the issue of bandits and Boko Haram, they could take them. Very, very important. Pay them good salary. The ones when they, they give scholarship, then they give. But those who are agitating for their freedom because of all these things when they, they do, eh? Now then be their enemy. Bandits and Boko Haram, there is no a threat to the government at all. In a country where bandits will be threatening to kidnap the president of a nation. In a country where bandits will be threatening to kidnap the, the senators, the, 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 the governors of a nation. But the governments will tell us, the presidents will come and tell us, I beg not mind them, is empty threats. Who is deceiving who? You see that when they tie. <laughs> One day go lose. That's when they, they tie, they keep, they tie, they keep, you go lose. The last thing when I go talk for here, be say, they fly when not they hear what they follow curves, they enter grave. If they like, they should obey. If they don't like, may they not obey. One day you go come up for office, ICC, now there you go end. As simple as ABC. I'm dropping it here. Can you share your thoughts below the comment section? Thank you very much. Bye for now.